Today we're going back to some fundamental left hand technique. This is real basic stuff, but if you'll practice it a whole bunch, it'll become a foundation for you know, a lot more things you can build on top of it. Remember, we're always talking about economy of motion. Let's review that for a moment. What is economy of motion? Well, let's play with one finger per fret. Let's uh, keep our fingers over the, over the frets, not this kind of stuff. Let's stay real close to the strings. And as we play, as we shift, let's keep that hand position the same. Like with a bunch of the other uh, technique exercises, we're going to use the cycle of fourths as a root motion. If you need review, just go back to those. We're talking about starting on the A string, playing a C major scale, then up a fourth, then up a fourth, then up a fourth. We actually went down an octave. Up a fourth, a fourth, a fourth. One finger, one finger per fret, no open strings, and start each scale on the A string. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to play a couple of patterns. The pattern I want to teach you today, real basic, but it's great, great uh, hand uh, building, dexterity building, great for stamina, and, and, and a good way to practice just clean articulation. I call them digital patterns because I think of the numbers. Scale degree one, two, three. Scale degree two, three, four. We're starting on each scale degree and we're simply going up one, two, three, and back to the root. Start on scale degree two. Back to the root. Scale degree three. Scale degree four. Scale degree five. Scale degree six. Seven. Now, if you have multiple strings, you don't have to do this little shift I'm doing, but it sure is good practice. I recommend at this point, if you have a higher C, still use this shift here, okay? We'll work on some multiple string stuff later or, or you know, basses with more strings. But this is a good shift. Let me play a little bit faster now. Flat. 
back to the key of C. Cool. Now let me tell you a little bit more about this. I realize we can figure this out very quickly. And we can sort of stumble and find all of it. But the goal is, is to be able to execute very smoothly in all the keys with good posture, with a relaxed feel, alternating in the right hand. Yes, alternating. Don't do any uh, uh, rakes or pull-offs or slurs, hammer-ons, alternating. And get to where you can do that all the way through many, many, many times in a row, 10, 20 times in a row without stopping. It's surprising to, how, to me how many students really don't have a lot of stamina, and because of that, they don't have a consistency in their playing. And, you know, they execute things or they play things, but they wonder why they don't sound real, real good. That's because of a lack of fundamental technique. I'm going to play it for you here with a practice uh, CD. And by the way, go to my website, jimstonet.com, and there's a whole bunch of these backing tracks that we use for free downloadables. I might mention we have a website too called Stonet Music Downloadables, where there's lots, hundreds and hundreds of these kinds of tracks. And yes, they do cost money, anywhere from like 99 cents up to $2, which isn't much. But uh, you're welcome to use those, but just at least go and get the free ones and play along with them. The reason why is if you play by yourself, you tend to stop. Sometimes you play out of time, maybe even out of tune. If you play with a, a little uh, play-along track, once you push the button, you tend not to stop. It helps you create stamina. It's part of a, a whole program I call laser practicing. That's where you have little five-minute workouts, or maybe three five-minute workouts, or maybe five three-minute workouts. These tracks I'm going to play with here are about five to six minutes long. I'm not going to play that long right now. I'll just play a couple minutes through it. But you want to get to where you're playing from beginning of it to end of it nonstop. And I'll assure you, I assure you, at first you'll be tired. Now, not if you've already done this a bunch, but for most of you who haven't done this, you'll be shocked how consistent eighth notes for three to four to five minutes while you're moving down the neck, how much stamina that takes. And you'll be really pleased <laughs> after you do this, uh, you know, 10, 20, 30 hours of this type of practice, how much more stamina and strength and uh, 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 you know, dexterity you'll have in your fingers. Let's go to that little play along now. Here we go.
know, oh, about two and a half minutes through the five and a half minute play along. Sure, this is a kind of technique uh, building you need to do to develop some strength. You notice I made a couple mistakes in there. Keep playing, keep playing. Sometimes uh, the hardest part of practicing these type things is staying focused. We want to sort of start thinking about all sorts of other things. Stay focused, relax, and work on economy of motion. See, we really can't practice swimming unless we're in the water. So we can talk about technique as much as we want, but you have to be physically moving to adjust the things that you're thinking you want to be working on. And if for, for a while, as you start playing, your hands will start getting tired and you won't be able to maintain posture. But as you gain strength and, uh, and stamina, you'll be able to adjust to, to work on this economy of motion and you'll start developing really clean, smooth chops. That's the goal. Be sure and get that play along, that free one on my website and play along with it.